Want to install Windows without all the garbage apps, candy crush junk, or bloatware nonsense? You're just two clicks away from a clean Windows setup, and Microsoft doesn't want you to know about this. Welcome back, everyone. Today, I'm going to show you how to install Windows 11 or even Windows 10 without all that third-party crapware cluttering up your start menu. And no, this isn't one of those registry hacks or sketchy scripts from a Russian forum. This is legit. It's so simple, you'll kick yourself for not knowing it sooner. By changing just one setting, just a couple of clicks, you can trick Windows into skipping all that third-party junk. A clean start menu. No Spotify, no TikTok, no Candy Crush. Just Windows. Let's dive on in. Step 1. Back up your stuff. Since this requires you to do a clean install with an emphasis on clean, everything on the drive is getting wiped. So make sure you back up your files. You know, your photos, memes, your browser bookmarks, all of it. Don't forget or skip this step or that recipe for your mother's meatloaf may get lost forever. Well, maybe something more important might get lost. Step 2. Make the install USB drive. Grab an 8 gig flash drive. I got a couple from Amazon for 8 bucks. I'll drop a link in the description if you need one. Go ahead and plug it into the machine. Make sure it shows up in the Windows File Explorer. If it doesn't, you may need to format it. Now, open your browser and head on over to the official Windows 11 download page. Yes, this works for Windows 10 too, but we're focusing on 11 here. I'll include a link to it in the description just in case you need it. Scroll to the Create Windows 11 Installation Media and click on Download Now. Once the download is complete, go ahead and run the tool. You should be prompted with a User Account Control prompt. Go ahead and click on Yes to continue. When prompted, accept the license by clicking Accept. On the Confirm Language in Addition page, verify that these settings are correct and click Next. When asked choose which media to use, make sure USB flash drive is selected. Select your flash drive in the removable drives list. If it doesn't show up, click on refresh or check that it's properly formatted. Once selected, click next and let it do its thing. It'll download the image, format the drive and make it bootable. This takes a bit, so go grab a cup of coffee. Once that's done, it's showtime. Now we'll break Windows in a good way. Step 3. Boot from the USB drive and begin the install. Just one last reminder. Did you back up your stuff? Now plug the USB flash drive into the machine you want to nuke. Power it on and get into the boot menu. Now this could be F12, F2, delete. That depends on your device. Select the USB drive from the menu and boot from it. Keep an eye out, it might ask, press a key to boot from USB. If you miss it, you'll have to reboot the machine, get into the boot menu, and try again until you can get the setup started. Step 4. The secret setting. Now this is the part Microsoft doesn't advertise. When you get to the language, time, and keyboard screen, stop right there. Here is where the magic happens. Change the time and currency format to English World. Not US, not Canada, not UK, World. Why? Because when you select this, Windows goes, uh, I don't know what region this is, and as a result, it skips installing any region-specific third-party bloatware. That means no TikTok, no Spotify, and no random nonsense you didn't ask for. Yes, Microsoft ships you crap you didn't ask for unless you confuse it. And this is exactly how you confuse it. Click Next and proceed with the install just like normal. Step 5. OOBE Region Error After the first reboot, you'll get this message. Something went wrong. OOBE Region. That's normal. Don't panic. Just click Skip and move on. Step 6. Bloat Free Windows once the install is done and you land on the desktop, open the start menu. Would you look at that? No third-party junk. No Facebook trials. No Flipboard. Just a lean, mean Windows machine. Now, Microsoft's default stuff is still there. You know, Edge, Xbox, etc. But the real offenders? Gone. 
Now that is how you install Windows without having to uninstall 15 useless apps before your first cup of coffee. Step 7. Fix your region settings. You don't want to skip this. The system is still set to world, and while that's great for the install, it'll break things like the Windows Store and region-specific applications. To fix it, go to Settings, click on Time and Language, then select Region. Set it to your actual location and you're done. The bloatware won't return either and everything else starts working properly. Here's a bonus tip, removing Microsoft's default junk. Yes, the start menu is clean, but Microsoft still crams their own stuff like Xbox, OneNote, and other things you might not want. You can uninstall them manually or use a tool like Winhance to clean it all up quickly. Good news! I got a full video coming soon on Winhance that'll show you how to remove built-in apps, add useful ones back if you've already removed them, how to lock down your privacy, and set up additional browsers and other third-party tools and useful apps. So if you want your next install to be truly yours, that video is going to be your new best friend. So what do you think? Is it worth it for a clean install? You only get one shot during setup to do this, and now you know how. Did I miss another trick? Drop it in the comments. I read them all, and hey, it might just turn into the next video. Shout out time for the first Discord Grump Squad members. I wanted to welcome Brahim, Damelis, De Roche, Def Taz, Dizzy, Gunnysack, Mr. Meeks, Nye, and Vlad. Thanks for helping build the community. I appreciate each and every one of you. If you want to join the madness, the link's in the description. It's free, it's fun, and who knows, maybe we'll swap horror stories or battle over which antivirus sucks less. If you haven't already, smash that like button, obliterate subscribe, and beat that bell icon like it owes you money. Until next time, patch your crap, update your definitions, and of course, stay grumpy.